Ahoy there, Captain Benzie here, coming at you with another video for Eve Echoes. Well, sort of. Today has been a bit of a rough day for me. My wife and I went out this morning to our local hospital to make sure that we got our first doses of the Sinovac coronavirus vaccine. So we sat in the sun from literally 8 o'clock in the morning until about 12.30 midday. It's been a bit of a hectic morning, so I haven't really had time to sit down and record a proper video. But I did promise you all that we would go through the art competition and the winners of our little positivity giveaway. So we're going to have a look at the two winners of our art competition. Two of you will have won a month of Combo Omega Reach, and for the positivity competition, which was part of the, uh, the Burnout and Toxicity video I did, two of you will win a month of Combo Omega, and three people are going to win a Dawn skin of their choice. So please do stay tuned, and let me know in the comments section down below on this video, or on the comments on that particular video, the previous one there, or indeed come and find me on Discord, details are all below as well, to claim your prize. I will need to to know your character's 11 digit ID and name so that I can get the skins or the combo Omega applied to your account. Anyway, I'm not going to do a massive linger on speech on this one. We're going to jump straight in, have a look at the art competition, then we're going to have a look at those comments and talk about some positivity and the giveaway winners. Let's start off then by having a look at the art competition. Now, this was just meant to be a fun little thing that I wasn't expecting anyone really to take seriously. I challenged people to draw their favourite ship, or just the ship that they fancied drawing, basically like on the back of a napkin or in Microsoft Paint, just something really quick and basic, just have a bit of fun and play around with this kind of stuff. And I actually really enjoyed the results here, and we're going to go through these one by one. The names you see are, I've added those myself, and um, just so I can remember who's a who's. And I think there's some really interesting designs here. I would love to see more. So I am going to keep the art competition channel open in our Discord. So if you fancy just drawing a ship and putting it up there, um, or having some fun with some artwork, just post some stuff up. And I might do videos like this on the weekend or something, just to feature some of the cool artwork and that out there. So starting off then, first of all, we have Frosty Jack, a good friend of mine who is a destroyer um, aficionado. This is clearly a Korax. I have a feeling that's the Assault or the Sniper. I can never quite remember which one is which, but it is clearly a Korax hull. I do like the Korax hull. I think it is one of the coolest and most unique designs in the game. It's just unfortunate that I'm not a big fan of the statistics on the ships and in almost every situation, the Talwar hulls just are better than the Korax. Frosty Jack, though, here has not let that get in the way at all of drawing a very cool ship, clearly in something like Microsoft Paint. I love the stars on this one. It's just brilliant. This was what I was hoping for. Just silly little drawings like this that, yeah, some people can take hours doing this. Some people have thrown some of these together in seconds and some of those show as you'll see later on but it was just for a good laugh so frosty jack excellent way to kick us off there Yadashi96 sent in this fantastic piece of artwork, which is either a Moa Guardian or a Gila. I'm not sure which one it is. It's based on the colour scheme here. Um, obviously, they use the exact same hull, but just with sort of skin differences. And that's a really cool ship. I've said before, I love the design of this particular ship. It reminds me of the Serenity from Firefly. And this was far more than I was expecting anyone to do for this competition. Really, really cool. I love the isometric design, the minimalistic nature, the way the shadows and sort of that background work together it's like it's jumping off the blueprint and that just looks so cool i really like this one really impressed with that thank you yadashi 96 Alex the Blaster, you guys should know this guy from um, this channel, he's been around since the very beginning of my Eve Echoes content, helped me out a lot during the open beta test and has become become an absolute mainstay in Cat's Girl Void, um, one of our most central members. He's turned his hand to drawing, drawing one of his favourite ships. Yes, the Cinnabal that blew apart my poor Stabber Fleet issue, you might remember that video, um, as a revenge for me blowing up his Omen Navy issue. Um, but hey, um, this is a really cool little sketch, typical pen and pen that's traditional pencil and paper and I love the way that he's included the sort of searchlight torch on the front there the headlights as to speak on the cinnable and that mottled effect really good effort there solid work I love that brilliant this one by IMC is what I meant when I said some of these were thrown together in clearly seconds and IMC I'm sorry if you spent hours on this then you know I mean no offense but I get the feeling you didn't it's a Microsoft paint job for a slasher and all I could see when I saw this first of all was hey listen and suddenly I had traumatic flashbacks to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and Na'vi 
I now cannot look at a slasher hole the same way. Every time I see a slasher, I hear that irritating little fairy in my ear. And that's kind of a fitting thing for the slasher interceptor, I suppose. It's the irritating little fairy orbiting you faster than you can hit it. Um, certainly, I will never look at a slasher the same way. And someone else did point out, paint it gold and it could be the golden snitch. Also, I'm all for that. I think that you know, a slasher being a hard to hit um, thing that will win you the game if you can catch it down is a pretty cool you know description for them next up Salome Valkyrie again taking a, a, a stretch far more than I was expecting here with this absolutely stunning geometrical design here of an oracle this is just killer and I love this so much there's pencil there's pen we've genuinely gone full on geometric design here with a pair of compasses we've got a protractor ruler everything in there to make sure that this thing is curved and angular and beautiful as it should be. It may be an Amar battle cruiser, but my goodness, it's an excellent drawing, Salome, 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 Valkyrie. I'm, I apologize, I don't know which way that is, Salome or Salome. Excellent work there. I really like that. That's such a really nice sort of uh, like creative photo for it as well. This one from Gex Volpone, <laughs> we break for nobody. I'm Still trying to figure out exactly which ship this is. I think it's supposed to be a hound, possibly. Um, but when I look at the hound, it, it reminded me of a hound, a dragoon, or possibly a Talwa. But none of the engine relays at the back quite match. So you're going to have to let me know which one this was supposed to be. I do like that we break for nobody. With the sort of the hatched effect on there, I do think this is probably going to be a hound um, or possibly a breach or assault. But again, breach or assault has a very different uh, propulsion system at the rear end of it this i think is supposed to be a hound and that we break for nobody i just love it that was really cool it made me chuckle a lot Mackie Don 876 takes my what one of my absolute favorite ships my favorite frigate one of my absolute favorite ships in eve and puts that to paper in excellent color here that is the of course the angel cartel dromiel i love this ship to pieces this piece of artwork is fantastic we've got decent enough pers uh, enough perspective on here got all the details in the armor plating we've got the camouflage pattern in there as well actually slightly more sort of like pingy more it jumps out at you a bit more in this artwork than it does on the ship in the game and i actually kind of wish that the ship in the game had that sort of camouflage a bit more prominent and a bit more visible i really like this i think that is an excellent rendition there of a uh, of a dromiel excellent fantastic work really well done Mackie don 876 unlucky joe 87 gave the funniest possible <laughs> response i think i ever could have i love the little sun at the top right the stars the planets and the lens flares like your michael bay of course that is a frying pan which means this is his artistic rendition of a bar guest the mordus legion battleship <laughs> oh this made me so happy to see I absolutely adore it, and I love that if you zoom in, you can see the uh, the rest of the items that were on the sink that have been cropped out here, like the uh, like the, I think that's hand wash and some soap and some, like the, the the bits of the faucet there. I love it. There is so much to this, and it just had me in stitches the first time I saw it. Every time I look at it now, it still makes me smile and laugh. Oh man, unlucky Joe eighty seven. If nothing else, thank you so much for giving us all a good giggle, and of course the frying pan bar guest. Then, Aesai. Aesai takes my absolute favourite ship in all of Eve Echoes. Yes, the Dromiel is my favourite frigate, but my absolute favourite hull in the game is the Hurricane. Now, this is obviously pencil on paper with pen over the top. Really nice design there. Careful attention to detail there at the back in regards to the sort of the rear sensor arrays, the wings almost, so to speak, the panels, the number of uh, the number of ridges and things down it. I really like this. And the little Minmatar logo there on the top as well, I think really does one of my favorite ships in the game, Justice. I say, excellent work. Thank you for drawing a hurricane. I love hurricanes. If anyone wants to draw pictures, and you know, hurricanes are always a good way to go if you want to appease the Benzi. Iona Athdark had this fantastic thing drawn into, I think this is a sticker, like a My Name Is sticker, the Whoosh Boom Die Gen Fed and Pantheon. <laughs> Someone clearly, clearly getting involved in the war here. That is 100% a hound. Um, I think that's a hound more than a hound too, because the, the torpedoes on it are sticking out. Obviously, large torpedoes are actually in line with the rest of the hull. This appears to be the torpedo mountings, which looks like medium 
medium torpedoes and there are two more of these in the background something has clearly exploded and I'd like to hope that that is either a gen fed station or if there are any of those left or some pantheon miners or a pantheon battleship or something Again, I need to keep saying this because Reddit thinks I have some kind of, uh, like, you know, massive uh, grudge against you guys. Genfed and Pantheon, I love you guys so much. You're providing some excellent content for us here at Void. We have some good fights. We win some, we lose some, but we enjoy all of them. And thank you so much for being so awesome about that. Also, if anyone has figured out who I'm flying as in those fleets... Um, Please don't let it be known. Um, DM me on Discord and see if you've figured out who I actually am. If Pantheon has figured this out, I do want to say thank you for not blapping me off the grid instantly every time. That's been one of my big concerns every time I join PvP. But here I think Iona Aftar has come up with an excellent rendition of the Hound. This made me smile. I love the sort of attitude here of Daichen, Fed and Pantheon. Um, excellent stuff there. Great frigate, great artwork. Love it. Finally then, Hitch Toldu here has come out with what I assume, well not assume, I know, is a Caracal. I don't know if that's Caracal Sniper, Caracal Fleet Issue, but it's got the right designs, the right angles, the wings are perfectly on there, the lines are simplistic, it's a nice minimalistic sketch, but it is clearly a Caracal, which I like. This was the point, I just wanted people to sketch things and just come up with quick designs like this. That's a really cool ship, and I, I do love the Caracal, I don't fly one nearly as often as I should. I should probably start training up a proper crew are up and training into all the different weapon systems just have a bit more fun with cruisers but there we are there are our artwork entries and i think these have been some really cool ones here i do have to pick two winners and i'm going to do this purely for how they made me feel when i saw them the first winner here is going to be maki don 876 with that uh with the Dramiel, just because I was like, that's a really cool sketch. It's one of my favourite ships. It's a really cool sketch. It jumps out off the page there. I really like this. And Salome Valkyrie for going above and beyond what I intended for this competition with an excellent rendition there of the Oracle. I love this. And there's a lot of love in that ship in there as well. I do want to say, really well done, IMC and to uh, Unlucky Joe 87 you guys had me in absolute hysterics with your designs. Um, if I had extra months of Combo Omega, I would give them to you guys as well, just for making me chuckle. But thank you so much to everyone here who entered this competition. I was really impressed with those. I do love that, and I think we should do this again. I think we're going to have some more of these in the future um, and see how we do. Now, I also challenged people on my burnout and toxicity video to tell me what you love about Eve Echoes and to, you know, be in for the chance of winning either one of two months of Combo Omega or one of three possible Dawn skins of your choice. So I'm going to go through the five results. I basically put all of the, po I went through my comment section. I responded to everyone that I could. I hit love, the little love heart thing on all of the accepted entries. I then ran a randomizer and it picked 10 versions for me. I've then gone through those 10 and narrowed it down to my five favorites of those. So it's semi-random with a bit of sort of favoritism in here as well uh, at what those comments actually say. So I want to read those comments talk about them and then we'll go from there so our first winner here is air nomad 16 i always love the intro start uh, intros tbho i know it might be cliche but can you flex while holding a can of spinach with pigeon in your mouth um i'm not sure what the pigeon in my mouth is about but okay i get the popeye reference otherwise in any case, love Eve in that it's a change of pace coming from a first-person shooter background. I actually dragged a couple of mates over from our old game because of the toxic nature and wallet warriors basically taking over the servers. Yeah, there may be some slander here and there, it's 2021 and people have opinions. The world ain't perfect, but I've made friends and nutty allies in a universe far away, which makes me happy. Omega would be nice and Dawn skin's looking real nice for my Ferox 07. Not sure how close the dev team you are, but Assault Battle Cruisers could use some new skins. Earth, water, air would be cool. My Naga 2 looks like a log floating in space, and that's why I never zoom into it. How are Oreos in Zimbabwe? In Zimbabwe? We do genuinely get Oreos here, and they taste exactly the same as they do in the UK. They're imported from South Africa. They're very nice. Thank you very much for asking. As for the skins with the Naga and that, yes, I do agree. The Earth, water, and air would be excellent additions to those. Um, and congratulations here on this. On the subject of skins, then Air Nomad. Um, if you can contact me, you, congratulations, you have won yourself a skin of your choice. I'm assuming it's going to be one of the Ferox Dawn skins. Um, let me know and I will get that sent across to you ASAP. 
Second up then, Paul Riggs. Hey Captain Benzie, you've made some excellent points, as always, thank you. At the end of the day, it's a game, so have fun, whether it's defending the universe from the rock invasion or doing encounters. Just have fun doing it. Aim for your next big ship or faction ship. That's a great target to aim for and a great reason to play the game. Don't get all salty when you lose, get over it. It's a game, learn from your mistakes and move on and play better next time. Fly safe. As I said here to uh, as I said here to Paul, defending the universe from the rock invasion is probably the best way to say mining I have ever heard, and I don't think I can say it any other way ever again. Congratulations, Paul! Thank you for making me chuckle again. Let me know which of the Dawn skins you would like added to your account, and I will have that sent over as soon as possible. Really cool comment. Really made me smile. I will 100% agree with that concept. That this is just a game. We're here to have fun, and doing it with other people is a great way of doing it. Having a goal to aim towards is great, but even if you lose a ship, learn from it. Learning from your mistakes is a big part of this game. If you lose a ship, look at it as a bit of fun. You saw a nice explosion, and you get to have another goal of working to replace that, and you're going to do better next time. And that's a really healthy way of looking at it. So yeah, let me know which skin you want, Paul. That's on its way to you soon. Next up then was David Morgan. I really enjoy watching your videos and I've learned so much about this game from those videos that you put so much work into. Thank you, Paul. Uh, thank you, David. I, I do put a lot of work into these videos and it's always nice that's appreciated. I do just want to say here very quickly as well, these winners weren't chosen because they were sort of pledging fealty to Benzi or anything. Just genuinely, I liked what they said. The intros here are just sort of, the, the, it's a nice thing that made me smile. But the stuff, the actual meat of the comment is what I agree with here. This bit here. I was truly lost when I started this game, you've helped me though. I like being part of a corporation, an alliance, and helping other folks out. I do a little of all the aspects in this game, except hauling. I like to build my own ships, which includes mining, PI, and ratting for ISK. I can't wait for what comes next, and someday be Omega. Now here, I love this concept of being part of a corporation alliance and helping other folks out. That sort of, I'm here to help other people, I'm here to have fun, I'm going to try everything, I'm going to do what I enjoy. I love this to pieces. Congratulations, David. I'm going to make that dream of having an Omega, uh, a month of Omega come true. You are going to receive a month of Combo Omega. Just DM me the character details you want me to put that one out on. Congratulations, I'll get that sent through ASAP. 100% I think that in this game, working with friends, having something that you're working towards together, and dabbling, trying different things, 100% is the way for it. Just because you're having fun with a particular ship doesn't mean you shouldn't buy another one and give that a go. You might find you had more fun. I'm again going to mention Frosty Jack, who I think done that numerous times. Reskilled out of Daredevils into other ships and then gone, oh, this is so much fun, I'm really enjoying this. Just try different things. Find something you enjoy, go with it, but keep searching for new and exciting things. This is a game all about exploration and finding a new life in space, so make the most of it. Next up, then, we have Braderick. This was long overdue. Good on you, mate. Shame it needs to be said, but it absolutely needs to be said. What makes me happy about EVE Echoes? The fact that it exists. I couldn't play EVE Online nearly as much because I didn't have a good PC or the time to play. EVE Echoes brought the universe back to me after the Dust 514 servers shut down. Oh, RIP Dust 514, yeah, that was a sad day. I can play at my convenience within the EVE universe and do all the things I missed all those years ago. I love how it's not as complex, but still works. I want things to be fixed, you know the list, but it is a good game. Now that I have a brand new PC, I may get back into a corp. Someone's got to terrorise the industry. Again, that was beyond necessary. Certain people can turn your enjoyment into a job. Fly aggressive. I do agree, there is a certain aspect of EVE, uh, certainly Echoes and Online, both of them, um, where you can end up getting absorbed to the point where you feel like you've got to do everything perfectly, like this is some kind of crazy job for you. It's not. Take it easy. Enjoy the game at your own pace. If you're in a corporation that is telling you you need to be doing things this way, everything has to be done exactly to the way we want it, no, you can't have skill points and the fun things, no, you can't bring destroyers or frigates or whatever to our CTAs or to our, you know, our, our, our ratting fleets, that kind of thing. You've got to go with the meta and that's it. Leave it. Leave that corporation, wave at it in the rear mirror, and come join us at Catskull. I tell you, we are not going to tell you how to play this game. We're here to help you enjoy playing, and that's how a corporation should be. I agree that I love Echoes for this exact same reason. I played EVE Online a lot a long time ago, when I had time to sit down at a PC and one that was capable of actually running it. 
I don't have that equipment anymore. I don't have that time anymore where I sit down in one place. Eve Echoes, I can play in any room, including rooms in other people's houses. And that's ultimately what I do. When I was getting my COVID vaccine this morning, what am I doing? I'm ratting in the queue. Yes, genuinely, my wife will tell you. Absolutely, I love that uh, the game for this. So congratulations here, Bradrick. Again, let me know which skin you want. I will have that sent through to you ASAP, one of the Dawn skins. Finally then, Darktide. As always, an excellent video that explains the situation perfectly. This is what I meant way back right before release when I said on our Discord that everybody should be paying for at least basic Omega. I was pointing my finger at those that out and out refuse to pay. Those that expect to play games that took millions to develop and maintain for free and expect to do as well in the game as those that do support the game monetarily. I've been playing mobile games for over a decade, and this idea that you can play the game completely free but have the ridiculous right to be 100% competitive with those that will pay something for their entertainment hobby is getting old. And then you do go on and explain that it really doesn't matter anyway in the long run of it. Love it. Thank you for being a voice of reason in this issue. Just so sick of people whining, and there really isn't another word for it, about companies trying to earn money for their hard work. Thanks, Benzi. Sorry for the rant. Honestly, mate... Don't worry about the rant. I've done videos on this, Darktide. I did a video before and it received a lot of hatred about Let's Talk About Mobile Gaming, where I say that basically most mobile games are completely free at point of entry. And you can often play a mobile game from start to finish, right the way from basic to end game, without paying a cent. If you're playing something like Command & Conquer Rivals or Brawl Stars, Clash of Clans, you know, even like League of Legends and things like that, of course you can play completely free and you are going to be able to achieve top rank stuff without paying a cent. PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile. What you can do in these games is pay either for cosmetics or pay for a way to help you get to the end. I think pay to win gets bandied around an awful lot recent recently. And I think if I use Command & Conquer Rivals as an example of this, yeah, you can jump into the game, you can start enjoying it, and decide that you're just going to dump a couple of hundred bucks in, you're going to level up your units, and you're going to absolutely obliterate your way through the lower ranks. Then you're going to hit the high ranks, where people have the same level units as you do, but have been playing the game longer, and can just flat out beat you. That, ultimately, is the same with things like Brawl Stars, it's the same with Call of, uh, Call of Duty Mobile, Plenty of these games use this, and I, it's not pay to win, it's just pay to advance faster. You can get yourself into a situation where you have the same gear as people have been paying, uh, playing a lot longer than you have, but you haven't necessarily bought the skills to back it up. It's an uncomfortable truth. Gaming is here to make money, and games do have to make money. I don't like the fact that I have to pay for games, but it's necessary, you know? If I buy a game on PC or console, then yeah... I pay for it. I pay $80 and that game is usually mine completely sorted. It's not mine because of how like copyright and games, EULAs and all that work, but that's another topic for a completely different channel to cover. Basically, yeah, I can spend 80 bucks on a game and that's it. Or I can go for a completely free-to-play game and I can drop in whatever I fancy. You might find that actually EVE is one of these games you enjoy so much you're willing to pay a bit more for it. Some people, five bucks a month is all they can pay, and that's awesome. They can still compete, they can still be, you know, having fun in the game, and I think it's a really important way of having a look through it. And 100% there, Dark Tide, I agree with you. I think, you know, in fairness... <sighs> Yeah, people are going to whine because people don't like paying money for things, and there are so many companies out there that have done this badly in the past. I'm looking at, like, EA back on the Battlefront 2 days, it's the always given example, and there are some really quite dubious practices out there, but Eve Echoes, this ain't it. This is not one of those games that is, like, here just to open your wallet and keep tearing chunks out of it. People who are calling me a shill for my opinions in that video, you realise that a shill is someone who basically just, you know, tells you to support the company no matter what, yada, 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 yada. I was telling you that you don't need to buy the thing that the company is trying to sell you. You might want to redefine your definition of shill, because I ain't it. I'm just here to be positive, I'm here to try and give you facts as objectively as possible, and them's the facts. So Darktide, congratulations, contact me, another month of Combo Omega on its way to you. I hear that you're paying for those, I'm going to give you a next one for free. Hope you're enjoying the game, otherwise, yeah, there we go. 
So, thank you guys for watching this one. I know obviously this isn't overly exciting content for regular viewers of my channel. It's here just for a bit of fun. I am going to keep doing the art competition. This week's competition is going to be more of the same. I want to, I've got two months of Combo Omega to give away, and I want to give them to two people who are just going to draw me artwork. It can be something completely silly. It can be something that you've clearly put a lot of hard work, time and effort into. Either one works. I just want to pick some fun artwork, show it off to the community, have a good giggle, have a smile whilst looking at it, so draw something. Whether it's on the back of a napkin, whether it's on, you know, Microsoft Paint, whether you're a Photoshop expert and you want to do a full-blown piece of a hurricane blowing up one of GenFed's stations, go for it. Whatever makes you happy, post it into my Discord in the artwork comp uh, competition channel. I'm going to put some stuff up there myself. I'm going to sit and have a doodle this afternoon um, whilst I sort of recover from what feels like heat stroke at this point. And yeah, there we go. Anyway, folks, thank you for being so supportive and positive. I'm Captain Benzie, and I will always try to do the same. I will try to be a positive force of positivity in this channel going forward, and in this community going forward, as much as possible. Thanks for watching right the way to the end. Congratulations to all our winners. Good luck to next week's competition, and thanks for... Well, thanks for watching. Happy sailing, and see you in New Eden.